Hey there everyone, Robby here and back with another video tutorial and for this particular one I actually wanted to highlight one of, one of the tools available on the back end within Wix's dashboard and that's being able to kind of manage all your social media marketing in one particular location. So something I always kind of like about Wix and Wix Studio in particular is a lot of these things that normally you might need a separate application for or a separate SaaS, you can actually kind of just integrate it on here and it's done natively. So you don't have to necessarily be like, well, let me contact technical support over here or then manage over here my domain and then my social media stuff over there, my marketing stuff over here, my email campaigns. A lot of that you can do just directly uh, connecting to the dashboard on native without having to necessarily use third parties. You can't connect third parties, but that's been the point. Uh, but for this particular one, I want to highlight the social media marketing tools that they kind of have on the back end. It's pretty cool to be able to create, ideate, uh, plan out a few things, connect to multiple locations, and publish directly from there too, and even track your information. So just with that, always just want to go ahead and jump right into the dashboard over here so we can take a look. So to access this, this is available on the dashboard. This is for any site, whether it's Wix Studio or Wix website. Um, and in the marketing section, appropriately enough, uh, when we scroll down here, we can actually see a few different ways to like keep your audience engaged. For this particular one, again, I want to highlight the social media marketing. Though, if any of these kind of you're interested in, like email automations, email marketing, uh, I have a video plan for SEL settings. But if any of those are interesting, definitely let me know. Be happy to kind of look into it myself or Jesse. We can make a video about it. But again, interesting here in the social media marketing, we can kind of see again, kind of like the banner on how to set this up. So if you want to create yours from scratch, you can. Again, if you create a new post, for the most part, it'll ask like, what do you want to connect and then exactly where you want to. So it'd be said, close enough since we've launched a YouTube channel recently, I'm going to connect to YouTube. So be right back. All right, cool. So connected. And again, we can see here. Granted, so with the free plan, uh, Wix does kind of usually tend to work with a lot of freemium plans or freemium options for their things. So if you do want to connect one premium plan or like one social media aspect, uh, that's available at no additional cost. Uh, if you do want to be able to connect everything, there is a plan that you can upgrade. This is based in the US, so prices might maybe vary a little bit. Uh, but this is roughly what it averages out to. If you are already using something, definitely see suggested and take a look, make sure if it makes sense in your financials. If this is something maybe you want to do for a client and you want to manage all of this, definitely include that plus a little bit extra for you actually managing and taking care of the billing for their end. But with that, just kind of want to see. Also, it would give you a bit more uh, posts if you want to do at the freemium. You can do 10 a month and then this resets at the end of the month. So generally you probably want to have them do more but if it's something maybe you want to do as an upcharge or an extra service to your clients and you want to ease them in this might be a good way so you can kind of get this set up but again here we can kind of see i can add like the video content and the video details that i want to do so let's use the video that i published a little bit earlier about like background binding so instead of having to go on into youtube's studio to do this uh, might still maybe want to, or at least after the fact, do this, but this way I can kind of manage. Uh, I like it already adds a tracking link for the information. So if people click on this, it lets them know I can be able to check this out afterwards. I can add media on here. So I'm not going to write this all out, but I do like this. So let's say if I want to do the section image background binding that I did, and we can already see it's here. The link here for the social media link so people can click on it and check. If you do want to generate your own, it is actually pretty cool. It'll get all of the links on the website and the sitemap. So if I want to do, let me see, section background binding, add the tracking link. So if on there where I have this video listing there, I can have that here. If I want to publish it right now, this is normally the best way to do it. If you do want to be able to schedule things, granted you do need a one of the premium plans. This is also really cool if you want to be able to ID and again, have everything out on a schedule. So I'll save this as a draft for now. Again, if I wanted to add more social accounts, maybe publish this in bulk to let's say X and Instagram and Facebook and LinkedIn all at once. A cool way. I don't have to necessarily go into all of my accounts, but let me save this as a draft. I don't want to publish this because I already did this video. <laughs> I don't want to double publish it, but 
Cool. We can see here, and again, we can see the social polls once they've been published. And you can also see like the latest design. So interestingly, let's say for the images with Wix, I think it'll use the AI tool for that. The video with Vimeo, I already have an example here. Kind of what it does is a slideshow. So you can get multiple media like that you have on your website and then just use that to create. And that's actually something I like about this as well, because if you're already uploading, let's say like a product, let's say for like Cyber Monday, I will want to edit this. So if I'm already adding, hey, this is a new merchandise that I have available or I have a new product, if I needed to replace this image or if I wanted to add an image, I can actually just draw from my media manager. So rather than having to upload it to a place, create the media, create the content, and then also get that same media, get that same content and upload it to the website, I can just do it all in one place. Anything that I've already updated and uploaded, it's here. And then I can just draw from it when I'm creating the content. So that's pretty cool. And again, just I guess going back to the Vimeo option, uh, I'll see if I can play it a little bit. But yeah, it just kind of does like a slideshow. You can decide the theme, the music that's playing, and use that to just quickly share. So again, maybe if it's something that you kind of want to test out for your client, give them an idea. You don't want to invest too much time or anything like that, but at least show them, hey, these are some of the results you can get. Look at the traffic it's driving. Again, probably would suggest if you're a video editor, either outsource it or do it yourself. But not bad if you at least maybe just want to proof a concept of, hey, here's kind of something we can kind of do. And again, once you've upgraded the plan, you can see impressions, reach, interactions, the site visit that this is all generating. So it's pretty cool as well. And I think I brought this up in the last one, but if you are using Adobe Express, you can actually connect to Adobe Express and pull all your content from there too. So yeah, I think that's kind of it in regards to like the feature and the way it kind of works. Again, there's a lot of things that you can kind of have on here pre-designed. For someone like me, maybe who's not the best when it comes to graphic designing, um, more the functionality of things video content as well if you need to pull from stuff and again just be able to share on socials so i think overall pretty cool definitely let me know if this is something you want to use if there's a deeper dive you want me to go into again if there's anything in the marketing home that you're like oh that sounds interesting be happy to, to make a video on it or jesse can also make a video about it but yeah thanks everyone appreciate it and bye for now